Hey what's up guys and welcome back to your daily dose of Anthem news and gameplay and we have some more stuff coming our way from Bioware on a ton of subjects, upcoming features as well as other development plans that have been talked about in the past few days. But before moving on, in one of my previous Anthem videos I've asked you guys to type down a feature you would personally love to see in Anthem and there were many great suggestions but as you know we only have time for one and here is a great response coming our way from this fine user who said, personally I would really enjoy a mission that requires much coordination, a mission where your specific javelin has a role he she needs to play in order for the team to succeed. This mission would require you to build a squad before entering as communication is required to complete it. Similar to Destiny's raid system, it would be great with this game as there are four classes to choose from. And I agree, given Anthem's gameplay mechanics, there's a lot of room left for some really awesome cool mission designs and even dungeons designs but with that being said let's go over the news because Chris Schmidt the lead system designer at Anthem dropped by yesterday and a few days back as well with a ton of answers to a lot of the fan questions a lot of them of course aimed towards the newest and the upcoming update that we're going to see in the upcoming week so coming up first on the subject of the lack of personalization options in Anthem specifically in terms of armor sets we have some more news coming our way and somebody even raised this very good point saying that some people are actually logging in solely to see if there are any vanity items, specifically armor, that they want to buy. If Bioware wants to make money on the feature shop, they need to put out stuff we want at a rate our coin purses can't keep up so we buy shards. At this point everyone has enough coins that they won't need to use shards to buy a vanity item for weeks and uh, this is definitely a valid point, I definitely agree with them. The answer to this question though is right here, yeah we know you want more armor packs and we want them as well they take quite a long time to make but you should see more coming in more frequently soon so that is excellent news i can't wait to see some more armor sets in the game he also talks a little bit more about the subject later on and he says i've seen some of the stuff coming up and it's really cool my goal though is to make really cool stuff all around animations vinyls armor packs there's a lot of opportunities there and we're only getting started i have lots of ideas about expanding personalization but it's probably too early to show my hand on that one so here's hoping more cool stuff gets added in the game as soon as possible because my coins right now are collecting a lot of dust in my purse because I don't have anything to spend them on so yeah here's hoping for that to happen really really soon but moving on an interesting question was raised by somebody who asked is the future of Anthem five years and surprisingly enough he did get an answer from Chris who said hopefully that's the assumption we're going on we all knew up until now that Anthem Anthem is planned to continue and to evolve for the upcoming years but we never actually had a time frame to be given so this is definitely very interesting. If everything goes and ends up good for Anthem then that is quite a long time for these kinds of games to last and at some point before launch Bioware even reported that Anthem would be getting support for the next generation of consoles so yeah we'll see how much that is going to like happen because uh, it's really uncertain right now how things can go and uh, there's definitely a lot of controversies with Anthem and all of that but I think there's a core gameplay in there that can definitely be exploited and the game can become much much better but yeah let's go on and there's also a lot of talk on the upcoming Elysian caches I'm really interested about these ones somebody asked Chris about the introduction of armor sets in these caches and he said Ben Irving implied in a tweet today that armor sets would be available in the Elysian caches that isn't the case right of course the comment was referring to this tweet over here that was posted by by Ben Irving uh, earlier today and the answer was correct he is mistaken so unfortunately we won't get to see armor sets in these Elysian caches but now you might be asking what are we going to see in these vanity caches and what will they contain if they don't have armor sets well it seems that they will contain vinyls arrival animations emotes victory poses as well as materials and all of the materials in the game are also going to be present in here so like you're going to get javelin parts weapon parts and all of that even embers and Chris later said that the amber poles are 30 each so that's at least two masterworks worth of embers to craft with still referring of course to the contents of these caches I presume so that is not that bad at the very least you get to craft some masterworks but we all know that uh, the end game right now is in those legendaries another big discussion point was brought up during the live stream and that was the fact that these 
legion chests will drop for a limited amount of time and that you have a limited amount of time to also pick them up as you know after defeating the end boss you have like a few seconds left to like take whatever you have to take and you're pretty much thrown back at the expedition end screen there is also a question if these chests will be in the game for a limited time and of course the answer seems to be both at the end of the stronghold you can stand there forever there is a timer waiting for you to either open the chest or you get teleported to the end of the expedition and in the game for a limited time so there's no reason to hoard slash not spend your keys because they can only be used on these chests for a limited time now if I read this right and please correct me if I'm wrong but it seems that these Elysian chests don't seem to be a permanent feature in Anthem and they will eventually go away it also sounds like it's a one time thing as in it won't be coming up as a recurring event in the future it's not yet confirmed for how long these will stay in the game but I do hope it's at least a couple of months so people can get their cosmetics out of them as for the timer itself as I'm sure many of you are curious it's said to be somewhere around 20 seconds so you have like 20 seconds to go to these chests open them up and the timer will also reset when people open uh, another chest so if there are four party members with one key each you can all open up all of the four chests and all of the players will be able to take all of the drops from all of these chests together and they will also be able to reset this timer furthermore these cosmetics that drop from these caches will be exclusive to them only which means you can buy them from the vanity store for example they only drop from these Elysian caches which is honestly a good thing because it incentivizes you to actually do this content as it's the only place where you can get these uh, these cosmetics and I'm not gonna lie I do want more vinyls I do want more animations I do want a lot more cosmetics for my javelin and being able to get them by playing the game is a big plus for me it's just a shame that we can't get those armor sets in there as well but it makes sense it makes sense because this is the main source of revenue for Bioware anyway let's move on to the subject of boss drops as those are are more important and gearing up and improving your build is right now what you will most probably aim towards someone asked is it significantly more drops my guess is that people will still skip the boss since the chest will have better rate but this time there will be people who want to do it of course by it referring to the end boss and they will be left alone in the expedition if you can't join them anymore so great question and he raises a valid point because in the update 1.04 if you may or may not know this you have to remember that there a timer put on a dungeon so that you can't join in on an active dungeon more than two minutes into it this was made to remove the problem of uh, joining in in a half completed dungeon or before the end boss that a lot of people complained about but what happens for example if your party mates decide to leave at the second chest right before the end boss but you still want to do the end boss and now you are unable to match make with anybody because of this new mechanic well the answer was the idea is that the boss should feel like it's dropping more stuff and there are new chests after the boss you can open with Elysian keys we will see but hopefully that's enough incentive to kill the boss so they go over the assumption that players will stick up until the end for the cosmetics which some of the people very well might I think a lot of people will do this and will stick towards the end but some of them might not and they think that people leaving before the end boss is a symptom of a root problem and that problem is that the bosses don't feel rewarding enough for the players to do them so the best way to go about this is to treat the cause and not the symptom otherwise Bioware risks running in circles and chasing one problem after another without actually fixing the root cause of bosses not being rewarding enough to players still I think that some of the changes that they made in uh, kind of fixed this a little bit in patch 1.04 bosses will be able to also drop legendary items on top of the guaranteed masterworks so this should help out a little bit more with that as well as the illusion caches that we now have this will also help with that so yeah we'll see how this ends up for the moment it all looks and sounds great on paper but uh, we'll see what happens next week when the patch drops other than that we also have some other talks about some of the fixes that people want to see in the game as well as some other features that they want to see being added in anthem it seems that the scaling fix won't be coming up in patch 1.04 unfortunately and the reason behind that is and i quote a bigger problem that's going to take more time because scaling power curve difficulty and loot are all connected so uh, yeah unfortunately update 1.04 will not have all of the answers it's still a huge update it still fixes a ton of issues and brings in more content so i can't be too mad about it there was also a lot of talk about re-rolling stats in anthem because uh, well a lot of rng is involved in acquiring loot and i do agree 
Anthem does need a way of rerolling stats, something similar to how Division 2 does it, for example, with their recalibration bench, which I found really awesome, still RNG, but still useful, and you don't have to like throw or dismantle everything, you can still keep it because it might be useful, and that game pretty much showers you in high-end items. So again, according to Chris, that would be part of the loot, progression scaling, difficulty, larger issue I keep referring to. In an RNG loot system, there's a lot of other smaller systems you use to fill in gaps in the system. One is crafting, one is re-rolling inscriptions, one is selectively replacing inscriptions, one is alternate currency to buy another roll, like blood shards from Diablo 3, one is using event currencies to buy blueprints to craft, I could go on and on. We're working on the greater problem right now, and then those supporting systems will come if and when we need them. Currently, the only two ways of getting loot is to A, either get lucky and have them as a drop, or simply getting the appropriate masterwork blueprint and pretty much crafting it over and over again in the hopes of getting good stats on it. But anyway, this was today's news everybody, tell me in the comment section below what armor sets or armor styles would you love to see being added in Anthem. You can give examples from other Bioware games or any other game out there and comment down below for a chance to get featured in the next video. In the meantime, as always, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Also aim that subscribe button and I'm going to see you guys next time, so peace out.